Let's talk in this video about things that will help your workflow in design for manufacture for things like injection molding, casting, and so on. Now don't worry, the part that I'm making is just a draft. So in the environment, let's highlight, how about our top plane here? And we'll activate a 2D sketch. Now, business card is about two by three and a half inches. And so let me actually choose a rectangle by center. And I'll choose some dimensions a little bit larger. We're going to go with 2.75. I'll make that by 5. Give this a horizontal here. We'll deactivate and extrude that to 0.5. From here, I'll select this top face to sketch again. And I'll choose a center rectangle again. And I'll make sure that my rectangle center is horizontal with my origin. I'll select a dimension from the outer edge of my solid to here. I'll go with a quarter. We'll give this an overall height of 2.25. You notice we're angled here, so I'll make sure that I straighten that line out. And then finally, 3.75. From here, we'll deactivate. We'll do an extrude cut. And we're going to say negative 0.4. So this will be where our business cards are able to sit inside. And let's say we want to design this for injection molding, where there's some distinctive features that we need for injection molding. We need smooth edges. So I'm going to start by making a fillet. Of course, that's a little bit high of a radius value. So we'll move that down to about 0.01, or I could even go up to 0.02 but something small so that you won't disrupt the business cards fitting in there too much. And I'll choose, you know, the bottom of these four edges and apply. Uh, the next thing is I want to do a larger fillet radius. And that will be here. We're going to choose something larger at 0.1. And I'll also choose these four outer edges. And there we have smooth edges, just like what we're looking for for injection molding. And now we'll want to have constant thickness for injection molding. So we're going to choose shell. We're going to say 0.05 for our thickness. And now everything is a constant thickness. And so we are good for injection molding, right? Well, we're leaving one thing behind. We have vertical faces, and of course, we need to draft our faces so that they're angled. And that way, the part will be able to be released from the injection mold. It currently can't with all these vertical faces. So what can I do? Well, I'll have to remodel the whole thing, right? Well, thankfully, we have a feature called draft that really helps us out here. What we'll do is I'm going to roll back before I put the fillets in and we'll apply a draft. So I choose this draft button. And from here, I select the faces that I would like to draft, which will be all of my vertical faces. I have eight of them. With all of my faces selected, I then select a plane to draft from. This is known as a neutral plane. So I want the draft to start at this face here. And then I select an angle to draft from. So if I watch these walls closely, I'll do an angle of three degrees. And there you can see, we now have all of our faces angled. If I look from the top, I can see my walls. So we're drafted three degrees, exactly what you need. And then I can roll this all the way forward again. And now I have my sort of injection molded drafted sections that I know I'll be able to release from the mold. I can even inspect and take a look at those nice angles that you can pull a mold right out of. So that is how we do draft in a Libre. And that's how we do it. Why don't you go have yourself a draft beer and then tune in for the next video.